First up this hour, Buckingham Palace has this morning confirmed Prince Harry will attend his father's coronation next month, but Meghan Markle will stay at home in California. Nine's Europe correspondent Edward Godfrey is following the story. Edward, good morning. The prince will travel solo. He will, sir. He kept us hanging, didn't he? But it's, it's been weeks we've been wanting to know, but confirmation today that Harry will be coming to London for the party. Both Buckingham Palace and the Sussex has put out a statement uh, this afternoon, local time, confirming that Harry will be attending his father's coronation next month. He will be coming alone, though. Meghan will be staying at home in California with the kids. The coronation does coincide with Archie's fourth birthday. There have been lots of speculation about whether the Sussexes would attend since they received that invitation about a month ago. They haven't seen the King or his family, as far as we know, since that book came out earlier this year. And as we know, that was explosive. Harry did make a surprise appearance here a couple of weeks ago, attending court hearings as part of an ongoing legal battle against the tabloid media. He attended uh, three out of the four days of hearings there. At Charles's coronation, there will naturally be a spotlight on Harry's interactions with his brother William and the rest of the family. Buckingham Palace has said that it's pleased that Harry... Oh. ...Meg will not be here. Thank I think you we got very your drift. <laughs> Buckingham Palace has officially confirmed Prince Harry will attend the King's coronation mm. next month, but he will be going alone without Meghan. Who better to give us the inside yes. scoop than royal editor at the Daily Mirror, Russell Rusty. Myers. There he is, Rusty. Good morning. How's the news being received over there? Well, good morning to both of you. Well, I've uh, I've been talking to people at the palace, and they first of all seem relieved. I think is uh, the overwhelming sense I'm getting, but also that they can finally get on with planning this big event because it has been uh, plagued by chaos over the last few days. You know, seating plans, overrunning rehearsals, and now we have finally Harry sort of signing on the dotted line, mm. saying he's going to come and grace us with his presence. But uh, unfortunately, no Megan. Yeah, well, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sorry, I mean, isn't it? It, Rusty, it does make <laughs> things a lot easier for the family, let's yeah. face it. Uh, and she's got she's got the excuse of, of Archie's birthday, which That's is right. fine. And you can't possibly travel with kids internationally. No. Um, so she's got a whole bunch of reasons why she doesn't have to. <laughs> well, of course. I mean, it's a convenient <laughs> truth that has worked out very well for them, isn't it? But, uh, I mean, she will be staying in California, of course. She'll be uh, celebrating Archie's fourth birthday, no doubt, uh, leaving her husband to travel alone. But, uh, you know, we have had sort of scandal and intrigue over the last couple of years. I mean, these racism allegations, racism uh, allegations of abandonment by the family, the list goes on and on and on, doesn't it? So I'm sure the family will not want sort of that hot potato to deal with. And, uh, you know, one may wonder where even Harry will be sat. I can't imagine he'll be sat, you know, behind a pillar, but uh, I don't think he'll be up in the gods. But probably won't be front and centre. I wouldn't expect to see him on the balcony, for instance. So oh. I'm told it's a fleeting visit, but, uh, you know, let's wait and see, because uh, all eyes will be on him when he f touches down. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've you got to imagine there'd be a lot of relief among the royal family, surely, with this outcome. Oh, yeah, listen, uh, undoubtedly, it's one of those uh, issues that they really didn't want overshadowing this event. I mean, it will be an event for the ages, regardless of all the, the chaotic scenes that are going on behind the palace doors at the moment. It's going to be a big occasion. It's Massive. far bigger than Harry and Meghan. Uh, I'm not too sure whether they believe that sometimes, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure it will be. Truth bomb. Good stitch up. <laughs> I, I mean, it is going to be um, so deliciously awkward mm. um, but the eyes of the world watching on Harry brings um, a certain of a, amount of attention as well yeah. um, but um, the coronation I think people have speculated will be you know the time when they patch things up mm. but he's only going to be there for what 12 hours and then he's going <laughs> to skip out of town on a private jet <laughs> Well, listen, I mean, I don't know who's saying that, but it's certainly not uh, anything that I'm hearing or I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it either. Um, the, the King has certainly had no time to speak to his son and, it, it, you know, thrashing out this business of whether Harry would come or not. I'm told he's relieved. Of course he will be. He's still yeah. got a lot of love for Harry. It's his son at the end of the day, regardless of all these uh, awful um, deeds that he's been doing from across the, across the Atlantic. But... I mean, you speak about William. William just has no time for his brother at the moment. And I think yeah. that there is a real concern about anything that they say to Harry will be used against them. We've seen the Netflix series. We've seen the explosive book come out. And, uh, and I don't think we're finished yet. Well, every family at the end of the day has got one in the family that don't want at any of the family events, right? <laughs> How many times can you say family in one sentence? Oh.
I was making a great international point then. <laughs> uh, Rusty, a member of your family, you don't want at family events, just name them because I know they won't be watching. Family. I'm, I'm, I'm probably that person. So I'm not <laughs> <a little> bit... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. You're our family and we you love are. you. Yeah. All right, still to come. Welcome back. Well, almost six weeks after the Sussexes received the King's official coronation invitation, the couple have finally RSVP'd. Prince Harry will attend the crowning ceremony next month, but Meghan will not be by his side. All right, let's bring in Royal Correspondent Victoria Arbiter, who's in Melbourne this morning. Victoria, so one's going, one's not going. Are you surprised by this? Good morning to you. Well, in a word, no. You may remember I was with you on March 29th and on that day we were discussing the will they, won't they and we agreed that the most likely scenario would be that Harry would attend the coronation on his own. Now, of course, it's hugely disappointing that Meghan feels she's unable to attend, but as compromises go, this is the solid one. At the end of the day, the coronation is going to be the most important day of the King's life and I think with the benefit of hindsight, Harry would have looked back and regretted it had he not been there. So it's the right decision. Okay, so give us some of the reasons that have been offered here for Meghan staying behind um, and not attending such a significant moment in her father-in-law's life. It's quite extraordinary, isn't it, to think of a royal duchess turning down an invitation from the king, who also happens to be her father-in-law. Now, it happens to be Archie's fourth birthday, her little boy's birthday, on May 6th. And so it's been suggested that that is one of the key reasons she's opted to stay in California. But I think this is a very convenient excuse and one that they're going to milk probably all the way up until the coronation. You may remember back in uh, the Platinum Jubilee last year, it was Lilibet's one-year birthday, mm. and the couple were at Frogmore Cottage then, and they they did celebrate. So I think this is convenient. I think ultimately it's probably after all those allegations that have been levelled against the royal family between Spare and the Netflix series that it's simply too uncomfortable to be in England. So is it going to be uncomfortable with all those things in mind for Harry to be going? I mean, how's it going to be received by everybody there? Yes, I think it is going to be uncomfortable. Ultimately, I think his father, the king, is going to be absolutely delighted that he's there. There's not going to be a lot of time for social interaction, but I think uh, I think the king will be very happy to have his son in attendance. In terms of the rest of the royal family, I suspect it's going to be quite frosty, but talking about the events, it is going to be so busy. I think Harry is literally going to go to the ceremony and probably get out of there again very quickly. With that in mind, the royal family are going to be incredibly busy. There's not going to be room for much chit-chat, so... Right. A little frosty, perhaps. OK, so there are some people who are laying blame at their feet um, for causing problems for organisers of the coronation. The delay in their RSVP apparently has up upended plans or caused delays, whatever. But is that really likely? I mean, it sounds like the whole event is a bit of a schmozzle at this point. There's been a lot of suggestion, hasn't there, that everything is up in arms, but I think this is all speculation. And as we know, negativity and algorithms lean towards uh, explosive headlines. And I think Harry and Meghan are just easy to blame for everything because mm. they happen to be removed and they're the ones that have levelled all these bold allegations at the royal family. But I think in terms of uh, seating arrangements, really, whether Harry and Meghan are there or not is not going to cause a, a big kerfuffle. Because Harry is not a working member of the royal family, he was never going to be involved in an affair official capacity. So I think in terms of the blame game, this is one where Harry and Meghan really are the innocent party. Yeah, and the history books will show that Harry was there for his father at the time. All right, Victoria Arbiter, exactly great right. to see you again. Thanks, Victoria. Thank you.